so hi guys welcome to my new video and in this video we are going to discuss about like how you can update whatever data you can change here like Ajay Kumar if you want to update it you can do it okay right now if you do it's not work because it's not implemented so as of now we just uh, created the structures and uh, you can populate the data in this update form but uh, in this video specifically whatever you change based on that we have to send to the server any key api and store those data on the database so those things we are going to do in this video <clears throat> so let us enjoy so first of all we already know we have created one uh, update student component so through the update we are filling the data we have changed the data and we are store those data in this part in this variable like a student variables now what we have to do we have to take this object and send this object to the api server once you send to the server server is capable to take this data and store this database and once it is inserted he will give in some response based on that you can uh, display yeah inserted successfully yeah, updated successfully and then after you can proceed the another page so those things we are going to do so we have already created one uh, update test in data and this method is available inside you can see this form controller update student we have a specify one method update in data so once you click the update student button once you click the update student button it will take whatever data you change here it is going to store in this place <clears throat> update student so a student here a student object reference so you just need to call object you just need to call the api and send this data <clears throat> so how you can call this api is there any way yes we have a one service so create a service so we already have a one service so this one is the service <coughs> okay <coughs> operate a student so inside this method we are going to call one service method and send our object so how you can call it this dot student service dot uh, update student update student data it's a one of the method inside the method we have to pass one parameter this dot a student so pass the data and uh, <coughs> here you can subscribe also s u b s c r i v subscribe of data whatever data response you given based on that you open this turly braces or here you can print one alert inside the alert you can say updated successfully updated success fully <coughs> if it is not updated maybe in any case if it is not in updated uh, you have to print error <coughs> error is one variable so error star alert and in this alert section <coughs> you can print something like that error <coughs> okay that's it <coughs> As of, now, as of now that's it later we can implement else also just wait 
<coughs> save this one and create this method because this method is not as of now in service class so we already have a one student service okay so go to the method and just click on the quick fix and declare the method and uh, go to the student service <coughs> and here you can see we created one method copy this method come back in last paste it remove this line because this is not required for you and we are getting the one student parameter here you have to write observable <coughs> observable of a student because you are getting a student type of the data so a student and here you can return this dot http client dot post dot yeah inside the post you can specify a student also so a student <coughs> you can give this parameter and uh, dollar base url so this dot base url and once you give the base url after then finally you can pass the student object <coughs> no need to worry about it whatever you are doing for the add a student same to same you have to do for the operator student also so you can see this dot client dot post dot student same thing this dot base url dollar <coughs> this dot base url and instance of the data that's it and we already have a one post method so you don't want to write for the backend code so it will take care about it okay and you have developed this one okay one more things we need to do is like uh, go to the update student component and once it is saying updated successfully then we have to redirect to one more another page called uh, <coughs> that just this slide so you need one router here so we have active router but uh, i will create one more router okay so private router colon router okay through this router we can call here <coughs> this dot router dot navigate and uh, inside the navigate you just need to pass in single quote one slash <coughs> okay yeah otherwise you no need to pass anything also it will fine okay just see so you can redirect to the slash page like uh, whatever your base url is there you can redirect to those pages otherwise you can pass your a student so you can pass stu dnt a student page <coughs> yeah a students whatever you mention in this app dot component dot routing for example you want to go this page so just copy this path okay and uh, where you want to update it go to update a student here you can pass it <coughs> it will redirect to those page no need to do anything okay so i hope it will work for us so go to this student page this is the by default page i want to update the nina record so click on update and i want to change the nina name to nina kumari <coughs> and click on update it will saying updated successfully and if you go nina kumari it will update it so it will work as expected for example sometimes it will not updated so maybe some problem okay so for this you can print some negative error message like <coughs> error and uh, <coughs> error is like uh, alert and uh, inside the alert you can print just just sorry uh, 
enable to open it. <coughs> Error alert unable to update. I think something is wrong. So error dot console. Something is wrong. So pass this comma error <coughs> error dot console dot so error is a one of the variables okay so how you can do it you can write error No problem now. And inside the alert you can pass some data like good. Sorry. Not updated. <coughs> so that time you got some wrong value. Go to your console, you can see. Oh my god. Something is wrong. What is the wrong here yet? <sighs> okay, you inserted this error because of this, it will not working. <sighs> Okay, so you, I think you imported wrong things, so that's why it's maybe saying like that. So I want to update a lock, so I given a lock uh, Kumar and uh, I will change something here in number also like 74 <coughs> So I am able to update both things and once it is updated, it will redirect to the <coughs> this space so it means our all those things which are working as expected as of now so update is also completed now i have to implement for the delete so i will take one more button here for delete all the records you click you just click on the delete record it will delete it thank you so much for watching my video